So location has a unique identifying uh, characteristic yeah, that, it, that it brings together all the things you know. Mm -hmm. uh, as is time, so time and location or from, let's say, from the, uh, from the principal part are very key. When you talk about location data interoperability, so now let's say there's a shift towards, uh, let's say, having lowering, lowering the thresholds to get access to location data, whether it is in your car, whether it is in your home, whether it is when you have to to develop a plan for a region or for a country, it's everywhere. So interoperability now uh, will be defined again, but now how to make it as easy as possible to be reused by any kind of applications, any kind of devices, which is far beyond this idea of, let's say, software interoperability. Uh, as uh, usually we say, everything is uh, happened somewhere. So this uh, location or importance of uh, location uh, with this uh, sentence, we could uh, explain also that uh, information about location are the, uh, in the center or in the heart of tomorrow's global uh, digital society. And this could be achieved only and only if we achieve the uh, interoperability of uh, data, uh, especially uh, location data or data about location, and also the services regarding these uh, data sets. I think that uh, most of the data which will be in this ecosystem has a geospatial uh, concept. We, we used to say in Norway that 80% of all the information has a position or a location. And uh, I've also seen some reports from, uh, I think it was related to the new European uh, strategy for data, that uh, geodata is the most appreciated uh, data for uh, private sector, for example, for, for business development. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say that the, this, uh, this uh, governmental interoperability solutions they will not succeed if you do not have spatial information as part of it it's it's vital yes location uh, is is essential uh, in terms of achieving interoperability because you will need context uh, uh, the geographic context of what you're uh, monitoring and assessing uh, so picking up on the previous examples of smart parking and smart traffic uh, if you are looking into parking in a, a central downtown area and you're looking into the traffic of uh, entering a city or exiting a city in, at the highway uh, it, you'll see that those are different mobility patterns so you, you really need to understand uh, the the source of origin the, of the look the context the context and the location uh, of the that your sources of information, uh, not only geographically, but also in terms of time. So uh, location in time is also is also essential to understand uh, uh, what we're thinking. But picking picking up on the, the proper term here, uh, I believe that knowing exactly where the data comes from, uh, where it was originated, what's the source of it, uh, it, it really helps on cleaning up the data and analyzing it for a proper use case for intelligence and even, and even artificial intelligence. Being able to visualize and uh, utilize uh, any information having such a location support is significantly changing the game so as soon there is a spatial dimension taken into the consideration a lot of things uh, starts to um, be uh, let's say uh, simpler in the way that in that respect, uh, we also had recently uh, uh, sort of survey on national level about the demand of the all potential stakeholders. It means from citizens to business, uh, academia, and the results really uh, confirmed the, the importance and the demand for the location data, which is another evidence. Um, first of all, um location can be used in in other applications so if, if the interoperability is um, guaranteed it can be used in, in other application as a 
first as an interesting add-on and, and furthermore as a as a well um, and, and, and a real data trove but um, within um, uh, location much more it can uh, location can be used much more uh, in different sectors because every sector has seems to have an own approach quite limited and a quite limited view on, on location um, and by securing the interoperability um, or by focusing on it many more approach many more uses can be made of it um, so it, it, it enriches um, the role of, of location data yeah well you you probably recall uh, from maybe a couple of decades ago there was a saying that you know more than 80 percent of information that is used by decision makers has a location aspect to it and i think what that really means is that um you know decision makers um can only make uh well-informed decisions if they uh, consider the location aspects uh, as well so um in terms of interoperability therefore it means that um you know if one ignores the location as aspects of, uh, of, da of data, uh, they risk um, making ill-informed decisions. So I see location um, uh, as a key aspect of uh, interoperability in the sense that, you know, it, it, it ensures that, um, you know, uh, the context and the um, yeah, the context of data, you know, from the geographic perspective and geospatial perspective is taken into consideration.